One, two, three, four. That's a challenge. We're about to put together a frog challenge out here in Florida for you guys. What's up, YouTube? We have linked up with the Houston boys again. <laughs> Nick and Mark, man, they actually spotted us at iCast today. It was so funny because we've all got each other's contact information. We're all into this stuff, and yet we had no clue we were going to run into each other at iCast today out here in Orlando, Florida. So we're out here at a pond that we have found through Fish Brain app. A lot of you guys ask me, where do you find these good spots? Google Maps or Fish Brain app. So guys, the security of the resort here was literally the coolest dude ever. We had to get through a gate, and I was like, uh, he said, are you guys checking in? And I said, no. We're just gonna try and fish these docks that I've seen some people fish before. He's like, oh cool, open the gate for us. Open the gate for all of us, too funny. So we're at this little private access spot that probably doesn't get hit too much. We already walked out to the dock and scoped it out. We're gonna do a 1v1v1v1 1v1 1v1 frog fishing challenge. We've all got frogs tied on different colors. It's gonna be a sleigh fest, potentially. We saw some fish already bursting on the top over here on the pads when we went to scope it out, so I think it's gonna be a good little session. We're gonna hop on over there and put you guys onto the GoPro right now. See you then. I do not know how I'm gonna set this hook, dudes. This is gonna be dangerous. Oh, there we go. Hop right to the middle. Come on, baby. Where are you at? I think I might go see what these other ones are all about. Yeah, I think if there's just a little bit more open space, that, cause, just cause this is so new to me, I'm lacking the confidence, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> about 10 minutes, no bites between four frogs. We're gonna make a move to the other dock, ladies and gents. Let's get over there. Check this place out. This is not too bad. We're about to hit the second dock right beyond the tree line, and I'm gonna quiet down now so they don't hear us on our approach. This dock looks pretty cool. Let's get him. Oh, two in a row. There we go. Nothing. Very surprising. We missed them by three minutes is the problem. They were hitting right before we got the poles out. <laughs> Looks like some action right here. Oh, little fish, little fish, little fry. Yep. Where's the big bass? Guys, the frog challenge is turning out to be just that, a challenge. I think we're going to drive to another spot right down the street that shows some logged catches as well. I think we're going to try something different at these next ponds and uh, just see if we can't put one in the boat. Trees. Watch out for trees. Watch out for headrests. Watch out for doors. Watch out for the rear window. What's going on? I think they're in. Let's go to this next spot. Security was so generous, the gate was closed over there and he just straight up let us in, so kudos. Much appreciated, we'll be back, potentially. Oh man, these places are locked down. We're at like the third or fourth pond. We're just trying to catch some stuff before sunset. We're using a combination of Google Maps and Fish Brain app to find some spots, and uh, we are en route to the next one. These ones are just gated over here, private access, talking about Get yeah, you. talking about how the sheriff's going to get you because they uh, enforce the private property trespass and stuff. So we're going to make it to this next one, which I think is more public, show some decent sized catches and see if we can't lay the hammer down. Rolling up to the next contender. Oh, here's a bass. Really? Is it for real? Sick. That's nuts. There's an alligator over here. He's swimming through the muck, you guys. I feel like he's depleted the bass uh, concentration in here. There was a bass on that bank, though. They're in here. He'll be back up to the surface. Oh, there's a bass right there. Oh, they don't want the top water. We need something else. Go try something on. Maybe a fluke? Here he is. I wonder what the bass want. That We've got a fluke. Do we have a fluke tied on? Where's that 10-pounder that I just saw on fish paint? Oh! Oh! oh. Come here, kid. <laughs> Flew getting it done in Florida with the uh, saltwater setup right here by favorite, you guys. Extra sick. The old salty inshore. Boom. Go. He hooked himself. That's a deal. Plump Florida bass. Exciting.
That was on the fluke. First fluke hit in Florida. Wow. Kid, what are you doing? Why are you approaching me? Oh, no. Why are you looking at me like that? I was over on this bank fishing and he literally was creeping up to me. He got right to the bank and I was like, nope. Oh! God dang. Oh gosh. No, I'm just going behind him and he's turning around and freaking out. Dang. What was that? I thought I might have had a bite, but I like hit the edge of the grass. And so I set the hook and that's what happened. Phones are ringing, it might be time to end the vlog. <laughs> well, the gator's still out here, Devin's still fishing. We're still trying to catch on three quarters of a fluke, almost half a fluke. <sighs> Anyways, on that new favorite saltwater and shore spinning combo, the thing's actually pretty sick. I really like the cork handle, the rod feels good. <laughs> The mosquitoes feel great too. And the line is, anyways guys, you can get 20% off this rod and any other favorite rod down in the description with our code Weston20. So don't be afraid to click that link and get you about 30 rods for your excursions out there at the ponds. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Appreciate the view. Peace out. <gasps> Bring him up here. No. What? No way. Oh. We were just closing the vlog out on one fish and look what happened! Oh my God, look at this! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if you're filming! The hoagies! You're filming. You are. The oh, hoagies! Oh my God! Dusty! <laughs> that's a six pounder bro. Five, oh my that's a yes. five, five, four, oh five, 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 eight. Around. I knew oh. there had to be something out here and your app, it showed it too. Holy cow, let's get this out. And the guy, and this is so funny. We came over here because this little pond with an alligator in it showed a catch that was like this guy's size, and the guy holding it up was like unexpected catch. And so I'm thinking, look, if there's even a chance of a big fish in this thing, we're gonna go after it. And wouldn't you know it hit the big old swim bait? You threw into the you threw into the grass, right? Yeah, no, right in front of the grass, let it sink down for a couple of seconds. The paddle tail just does its thing. And this dude, I felt the just subtlest, like, thump. And I was like, I got him. I got him. I got him. There we go. The hoagies. Saltwater fishing lures right here. This is what we catch reds with right there. <laughs> that paddle tail. Great action. Beautiful fish. Oh, my God. Nick, you got to get me a photo, bro. Yeah, yeah I got you. I got yes. you. I got you. I got you. All right, here we go. No way. Six, five. No. no. Six, four. Six, five. So we're gonna call it a six four six, six five. five six and a half six bro. five there we are Look what's at your that. pb eight pounds eight oh pff, he's got an eight pounder before this is chump change there we go and there she goes like nothing just happened uh, bro oh yes good call on Put finding this place oh <laughs> <laughs> like 10 10 private access ponds later Everything's fenced around here. Yes. We could not find a pond to save our lives. And then oh I think I think I think the little fluke catch motivated us to stick around for a second. <laughs> we I were literally we circled this pond and we're like, ah, I don't think there's anything big in here. And then BAM! Six and a half. <laughs> oh my six and a, uh, closing in on six and a half pound bass out of this little pond. Do you see this? That is a healthy chunk right there. I'm telling y'all what, man. That's that's what I needed to end the day at iCast. Bro. That's wow, bro, total dude. last minute catch well, after the outro. We might have to stick around and just try for like something else because that was, there could be, that could be just the dominant. When that thing flopped, I said, are you shitting me? <laughs> okay, now peace out, catch you next time.